everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andre Salazar. Today, I'm here at the Los Angeles Comic-Con. Uh, it's Friday, we're setting up things. It's a three-day con. I haven't been here for about four years since it was called Kamikaze. I think it's changed owners a couple times. At first, it was connected to Stan Lee. I think he kinda, he was the face of it. And now it's just LA Comic-Con. I have low expectations. <laughs> Uh, but I got my stuff here. I'm gonna sell it. We're setting up. I'm in Artist Alley, a great comic shop called the Comic Bug. Comic Bug over in Manhattan Beach, California. They set me up with a table out of the graceness of the generousness of their heart. The good uh, Mike Wellman. So thank you very much, Mike, and those guys. So I got a little table here. We're gonna sling some books. I might wander around here, look at stuff. I might purchase something. I might not, I don't know. I've got a stack of stuff to read, so I'm not in a huge hurry, although I do want one of those big artist editions, so I'm looking for those, but those are hard to find cheap. Anyway, so I'm gonna wander here for a little bit, get back to you uh, in a couple hours once we're moving and grooving here at the LA Comic Con. Okay, everybody, we're winding down here on Friday, and, um, we're here. Actually, we had some good sales. We, actually, more people than I was expecting on a Friday, so that's good. I'm starting to wear down a little bit on time. I've been here for a good nine hours, so I'm ready to kind of call it. And uh, this is um, LA Comic Con. I'll show a little bit of the video here for you guys, and then uh, we'll jump on to Saturday. Excited to be here LA Comic Con, baby. What's up everybody? Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I'm uh, walking in a neighborhood here close to the convention center. It's actually not too bad of a neighborhood considering the area. Found a little parking spot. I was not gonna park no, no $25 a day parking. I refuse on general principle to pay 25 bucks to park other than Disneyland and that's only because I have to. So I'm walking about five, six blocks away and saving 25 bucks a day. Paid on the first day though, that was a bit of a hose, but that's okay. Um, I might pay it tomorrow. I don't wanna pay it tomorrow, but I just gotta schlep all my stuff. Don't really wanna have to walk too far on that day either, dang it. But if I make a lot of money, I'll pay parking. Otherwise, I might schlep it, I don't know. Uh, show was actually pretty good yesterday. I'm worried that I didn't bring enough books. Uh, usually I bring way more than I need, but this time I only brought one box. And I probably should have brought two. So if I sell out today, I might even go home, which is about an hour and a half drive. Don't really want to do that, but I'll be tempted. Or I just don't come, I just leave. I don't know, dang it. The, the, the opportunity for more lucre, the more money, is always a temptation. I'm like, I don't want to risk not getting naked now. Okay, it's getting loud and trafficy. I'm here. We're doing this. Comic Con LA, baby. So here at the LA Convention Center, you are not allowed to sell hot dogs and such without a health permit. Probably need a seller's permit as well, and a lot of other permits. You can't just be doing that, rolling up here downtown LA, selling your hot dogs. I did buy one, and the cops just came, and those mofos ran. I wish I would have caught it on tape. There's eight Mexicans be running like a mother out with their trucks, with their carts of hot dogs running. And the cops, the cops are just like walking slow like tombstone, just walking. They just walking. And them homies be running. Luckily they didn't just turn to us, the fine patrons of such eatery, and nab our butts. Cause I was gonna get a second one. $5 hot dog ain't that bad. I had to do what I had to do, and that's how we are. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning. We're last day at the con, very excited to be here. You know, one of the hacks of going to convention is not only are you gonna find local parking, but you're gonna go to one of the local eateries. And I'm here at Subway, making it fresh here, because you don't wanna pay no convention food business, okay? You wanna come to a local place, 
you get some food, you bring it in to eat lunch or breakfast or what have you. And there you go. Okay, so we stocked up on our lunch at Subway. We got our local parking, no parking fee. We're doing this. This is how you do it. This is how you hack the system. You don't do what the government says. You don't do what the convention wants you to do. That hot dog thing last night was crazy. To see all those homies just running full tilt with their carts while the popo was just slowly walking towards them, that was hilarious. And all of us, there was like tons of people sitting there with hot dogs, like, ah, <laughs> you know, are they coming after us next? They don't go after the Johns, luckily. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a bad convention. If you're in the area, I would say definitely come check it out. If you can't get into WonderCon, uh, it's like San Diego WonderCon. This is a little bit lower tier, but it's not a bad con at all. Uh, definitely better than it was Kamikaze, for sure. Okay, going through the tunnels, a little sketchy, so I'm gonna turn this off. Hey everybody, hey everybody, it is Sunday at 4.30, it's about a half an hour before the show closed, and I sold out of my books. So I sold out, so I made some cheddar. And now I'm gonna wander a little bit. I haven't really seen the floor too much. I saw a little bit early, but I wanna just kinda see if there's anything I should buy. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll spend some of this money. Not a lot, just a little, to give back to my peeps. So I'm gonna wander around here a little bit, um, show you the floor maybe. Great show, actually. Really because I got a free table. If I didn't have a free table, I wouldn't do the show. Because I didn't have to pay anything, really, for housing or for table, or for parking. Um, my costs were so low that almost everything was profit and it was worth doing. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. It's just, my time's worth more to just work on the book or be at home than to do this. So, that's my like, from my perspective, how it should be. But you know, everyone's got their own like, um, calculus they gotta do, okay? So here's the show. And uh, thanks for watching. I think this is it. I think we're just gonna end here. I don't even think I need to talk about, I don't need to recap anything. I think this is it. This is Los Angeles Comic Con um, 2019, is that where we're at? And uh, we're here doing comics, making comics, selling them. And thanks for watching, subscribe. There you go. Thanks everybody, bye. Okay, the show's over, the show's over. Actually, I was gonna end before, but here's a little epilogue. Despite everything I say about how much work it is to park and pay for this and that and all the complaining, I do have this sense of sadness and loss at the end. I was not looking forward to coming because it is a lot of work, but now that I'm leaving and it's over, I'm sad. And, it's, and I don't know why that is, but it's just a sadness that comes over me because I do enjoy the con and I enjoy all the nerdy stuff and it'll be you know eight months until I do another convention so I do get sad even though I'm complaining um, it was fun and I met some neat people did a little business made a few bucks so it was definitely worth it uh, from that perspective and I do get sad when it's over so um, there you go that's it okay no more this is the end. Have a great night. Bye.